So I've decided to go ahead and see how difficult it would be to desolder these switches and really strip this guy all the way down. I've done a full clean on the desoldering station. I've got a larger diameter tip here that should fit over the pins on the switches. If it will. Not desoldering as well as I'd like. Neither one of those released. They are plated through. I may not just be enough room to draw air all the way through. I don't want to have too much dwell time on these. Put some fresh solder on. Give it one more shot. If I can't get it to just clean easily, I won't do it. I don't want to lift traces or damage switches on the board. Sometimes a little bit of fresh solder makes all the difference, which might be the approach I have to take with these. completely free now. Let's see if I can walk a couple of them up out of there. Uh, I need one more little screwdriver. That'll work. Release the pin on the other side. Should just walk right up out of there. I think the easiest way to do this would be to unsolder them all so they all come loose and then I can just remove them from the carrier without doing this little bit of wedge work but I can feel the solders released. Let's come up out of there just no problem. over here on continuity. Less than a tenth of an ohm. Switch seems absolutely fine, so the little bit of heat there didn't seem to affect it, which is good. Just no problem. So the question really becomes do I really want to? complete this. I'll try a few more. I'm going to add some fresh solder first. Which is often the key to getting dead solder to release. Smell hot dust, yuck. I would imagine this is going to plug up at a soldering station pretty quick. It's a lot of solder. I actually find a little better pair of glasses for this where I can get a little better view of what I'm doing.
was desoldered well. Less than I would have liked dead. Hmm. Is it going to take two passes like it did with the first two switches? It might. It's a lot of solder. Let's see how much we've already. I already pulled out a lot of solder. Oh, that's really hot. This was clean when we started here a second ago. So that's the amount of solder we've already drawn out. I will uh, hit these one more time. Some fresh solder. We'll make a second pass. They seem like good quality switch bodies. All those again and see if we get full release. as cleanly as I like. Some of them desoldered really well, some not so much. I'm kind of in my head here about whether I want to continue this or not.
And there's a reason I'm working on the numeric keypad side here, and that I don't tend to use the numeric keypad. And if I did manage to crash a switch, it wouldn't be a complete loss to me if it was on the numeric keypad side. It'd still be sad. Maybe one of the ones that didn't release. three aren't but you know generally speaking that's not coming apart too, too poorly the thing seems to be overly stressed though I hate flowing these as many times as I am stubborn. It, it's loose from the PCB. It's just being stubborn. There we go. Got up under it finally. What? see all the crud there, it'll just be much easier to clean up with the switches out. So I'm going to do another pass through all the switches just to see if I've either got high resistance or lack of continuity and make the final go and I'll go decision from there. seem really well made. Yeah, I think I'm safe to proceed here. I'm safe to proceed. All identical, less than 0.1 ohms. Uh, instantly respond to the continuity test. So I think the approach is going to be here is to remove as much of the old solder directly as I can, then flow new solder, and then do the final release. 
I'm sure this is nice and full again. Well, not, not nearly as bad. It is very warm. Uh, are you stuck to the filter? It's always a pain to get back in there. Filter's getting pretty dark. These look like they're releasing first attempt here, although you can hear the tools working harder. It needs to be cleaned again. So I don't know how many of those are actually loose. That one is. That one is. Oh, nice. That one is. Actually, all of those unsoldered first attempt, which is really nice. So, we can uh, go ahead and work them up out of there. Maybe. I'll be much happier with the final result here with tearing this down to get a really good deep clean. These actually be soldered pretty reasonably. Painful. Feels like the switch is loose. There it came. That was actually very reasonable. Single pass. Uh, very happy with that. So I will can proceed here. I don't think.
Well, there you have it. We have the PCB loose. Uh, it looks good. I didn't lift any traces or anything. A couple of the switches were a bit tough to get out, but I think uh, they're going to be fine. Keycaps were, of course, off. And now we can actually clean this metal plate up. Uh, there's no rust on it. It's going to clean up very well. A little degreaser, clean it up, and, it, and it'll look really nice. So, uh, a lot of work to strip it down this far, but I think it's going to be worth it just for the payoff of how nice and clean everything will be. So, uh, there's that. Uh, I'll be back when we're putting things back together.